Have you ever imagined that someone somewhere can put your face on a piece of paper in form of drawing? Now on this week's Fab Show, I'm hosting one of the top artists from the county by the name Mike Masterpiece. I'm with him here. Kindly join us. I'm sure you will like his work. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, it was a long trip. It's a long trip. Mm. Now, Mike Masterpiece. Yes. I'm seeing some good work you are doing here. Yes, we're now, trying. Is this your talent or you just had a passion for it and learned about it from someone else? Okay, it's a talent. Okay. Yes, it's a talent that, let me say it's inborn. Mm -hmm. I started doing it around 2005, mm -hmm. but I stopped. So, when I stopped, Around 2017, mm -hmm. I had a mentor who saw the talent in me after I had lost hope in, in drawing. Okay. So he recovered me. So he forced me, like he forced me doing it. Mm -hmm. But I can't regret mm -hmm. doing it because I've, I've seen something in it, mm -hmm. and I've I've also earned. Mm -hmm. And why did you stop this this amazing talent? I lost interest. Mm -hmm. I just lost interest in drawing. But thank God that interest is back. Yeah. I'm seeing different sizes of artworks here on the table. Yes. Uh, what is the biggest size you've ever drawn? We have different sizes. Mm -hmm. The sizes vary from A1 to... A... We start with A0, there is A0, but that's mm -hmm. the, the largest. Mm -hmm. So most clients don't, don't really like it. So we have A0, A1, A2, A3, mm -hmm. A4. Mm. But the largest that I've ever drawn is an A A1. Oh, A1, which is A1, this one. Which is this size. Okay. This size. Yes. And, but uh, the and rest are the uh, the ones that I'm having here currently mm -hmm. are A3. Mm. I don't see an A2 here. And on on the same note, on this artwork over here, this A1. Yes. I'm seeing it's different from these other artworks. Yes, yeah, very different. Mm. This is another style. Mm -hmm. That's a style you can lift it. Okay, this one. Yes, that's a, this is a style as well. Mm -hmm. This is a style. So we do. I, I do pencil portraits. Mm -hmm. The graphite. The graphite. Yes, yes graphite. Pencil. The normal pencil. The normal pencil. Okay. And then I do the colored pencils, mm -hmm. which I I use a, a a very high quality pencil, the drawing colored pencils. Just and to then, tell us the name, please. Okay, I use pelicans, mm -hmm. and then the one that I like best is the Crayola. Oh, Crayola. Yes, it draws smooth. Okay. Yeah. Even if you do you do arching mm -hmm. or the cross arching, the strokes are smoother. Mm. Yes. Now this is this is a style that is just coming in. It's the digital uh, the digital art painting. Mm -hmm. No digital is overtaking the traditional art. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this this Digital art. Well, digital art. Yes. You draw. Mm -hmm. After drawing through via the drawing pad, you print and then you frame. Okay. And you deliver to the client. So yes. it's client's choice. It's a client choice to choose which, which style to use for him mm -hmm. or her. Like mm -hmm. this graphite, mm -hmm. this digital, that's color. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking of support, are your parents supporting what you are doing? Or are you sponsored by someone which, which is motivating you to do more and more this type of work? Okay, my, my parents are really supporting my doing. Like uh, the one over there. Okay, this one. Yes, this one. This is, I did some time back. Mm -hmm. This is my mentor. Mm -hmm. He's the one who brought me back to the, the field of art. Mm -hmm. Yes. So he, he always explained for me. Mm -hmm. Explain to me any style, any style, the new styles that are coming, coming in, in. Mm -hmm. and how to how to blend, how to do the cross hatching, mm -hmm. and he corrects my mistakes. Mm -hmm. Even though sometimes we clash because yeah. you, you take time in concentrating. Concentrating. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we do clash at times, but he corrects me. Okay. So he's supporting it. My mom is also supporting it. She's happy about it. Okay. Yes. So they are supporting. They are supporting. Okay. That's very good. Okay. And uh, on this arts on the table, yes. okay, I'm seeing two comedians here. This is Dr. Timori, and uh, over here is this, this comedian. 
by the name Mr. Otoya. Captain Otoya. Yes. Okay, now these are the people I can recognize from this artwork. Have you ever drawn this, the big names like politicians? That includes the MCS, MPs, and the rest. Okay, I've drawn big names. Mm -hmm. I can say I've drawn Mr. Bob Ndolo. Mm -hmm. And then this is Dr. Kimori over there. Yeah, this is a comedian. Yes, this is Dr. Kimori. Mm -hmm. And then this is Captain Otoyo. Okay. Yes. And over here I have this is the executive secretary, Madam Agesa, the Kenya National Music Festival secretary, mm -hmm. Madam Agesa. And, and then mm -hmm. some I think I don't Just have to see the, the normal clients. Yeah. And uh, have you ever drawn any politician? Politicians. Yeah. Yes, I've drawn some politicians, but I've but I have not sold them. Okay. I've not sold the portraits. Okay. Yes. Mike masterpiece. Yes. What is your comment on the relation between the government and the art industry itself? Okay, the government is supporting you, as I can say, yes. Mm -hmm. But to some extent, mm -hmm. they are not that supporting you. They tend to the they tend to. They specialize like on other departments. Like health and uh, education. Yes. Okay. There are many attractions on the table of different kind of people. So just to ask, how do you connect with your clients? How do they get to know that there is an artist called Mike Masterpiece? How do they connect with you? Okay, nowadays we have social media. Social media helps you to market your arts very fast and to get many clients mm -hmm. like but in as much as social media will help you get clients mm -hmm. but the quality of work that you do mm -hmm. will help you get clients more clients more clients mm -hmm. that is so the the more you the more you you take your time mm -hmm. do good work the more you'll get the clients okay now you that is on the basis of Quality gives you more customers. Yes, quality gives you more customers. Okay. I'm really seeing a lot of artwork here. This means you've advanced. And uh, what can you tell an upcoming artist out there who also have a passion of drawing, but he, he, want, he or she wants to quit the way you did? What can you tell this kind of an artist? Okay, what I can tell an, an, an up, upcoming artist, mm -hmm. don't quit. Don't quit. Take your time. Concentrate. Draw a nice, a, a nice, a, a nice portrait. Mm -hmm. Don't hurry. Don't be in a hurry to post your work online. Online. Mm -hmm. It has no benefit. Even I myself, I think I'm not there. I still have time to do hyperrealistic portraits. Mm -hmm. That's my, that's my target. Um, as of now, mm -hmm. even, even as much as my art, my artwork may impress somebody, but. According to you, I could, you have not reached. I've not reached my target. Okay. Yes, my aim is to do an hyper, hyper realistic portraits, mm -hmm. big portraits. Mm -hmm. So, it's a continuous thing. You practice, take your time, do it at least five hours in a day. Okay. Yes, you do it at least five hours in a day. There's no need of doing a bigger, a bigger size. Mm -hmm. Just do a smaller size. Mm -hmm. Concentrate on it. Don't leave any artwork hanging. Yes. Make sure you finish, and then you you'll see changes. Okay. There is there is no way you will start doing doing it today, and then you expect that by tomorrow yes. you are perfect. Okay. No, it's a progress. You do it continuously, day in day out. Mm -hmm. I re since I resumed in 2016, my artworks were not really impressing me mm -hmm. and even my mentor, but he would encourage me. Just do it. Just do it. You'll so make it. you'll make it. Mm -hmm. So at least with the time, I've seen changes. Yeah, here in, here out, I'm seeing progress. Even if I can arrange my progress from 2016 to now, mm -hmm. I feel like throwing the 2016 portraits away. But mm -hmm. there is no need of Being throwing them. Mm -hmm. They have a story for me to tell. Okay. Yes. And this goes to the young artist out there. If you, if you believe you can do the, the kind of artworks which are on this table, then don't quit. Just get, try to get a mentor who will mentor you and then uh, 
you'll you'll surely you will surely reach this level where Mike Masterpiece is at now. But he's telling us that you want to advance in this industry. You want to start doing hyper-realistic portraits. Of which uh, next time when I'll host him, I'm sure you will find when he has started doing that. And uh, Mike, is it true that art industry is expensive? Okay, the art industry tend to be expensive. That's true. Mm -hmm. Because buying papers, buying pencils, buying charcoals, just to practice and then you don't sell the portrait. Mm -hmm. You're losing. But it only comes... You, you, you will feel the, the happiness in heart when you start selling it. Mm -hmm. But when you're starting the journey, it's too expensive. That I just have to confess. Mm -hmm. Because buying an, an A1 size paper, mm -hmm. ivory board paper, is 120 shillings mm -hmm. and it can only produce to you like four a three portraits a, a, four a three portraits mm -hmm. and then again you buy charcoals soft charcoals you buy quality pencils mm -hmm. you draw and then don't sell the portraits you lose up but don't lose up just stay focused do it you'll sell them and you'll recover your money mm -hmm. and then you see the digital you can't do digital painting when you don't have a, a sketch pad, you don't have a, let me say, a computer. Mm -hmm. Because you must connect the sketch pad to the computer. And a, a computer is like 18,000. 18, a sketch pad goes up to 15,000. Mm -hmm. So you have to, you see, it's, a, it's costly. Yeah. So, so the art mm -hmm. industry is expensive when starting. But after building and you have started doing it and selling a portrait, mm -hmm. it's okay. You can get something out of it. So digital painting is absolutely, not absolutely, but quite expensive. Okay, it's not expensive as such, but it's expensive when you're starting. Okay. Yes, but the moment you start getting clients, you will you will require your money. Okay. Yes. Um, Mike Masterpiece, thank you for coming to the show. And just to give your final remarks and... Uh, for those who still don't know your social media handles, and this is the, now the good time to give the your social media handles, your Instagram, IG account, Facebook, WhatsApp number, so that you, those who will be interested can know how they can get you. My real name is Mike Odiambo, but on Facebook, uh, my Facebook account is mm -hmm. Mike Masterpiece, and then on Instagram, I use Mike Arts. I do pencil portraits, I do colored pencils, and I do digital painting. Mm -hmm. As well, I do nature painting, of the traditional painting. Okay. So you can you can dial me anytime you need a birthday portrait, uh, just a gift for a friend, Valentine's. Mm -hmm. I'll do you a nice portrait at a good price. Mm -hmm. Yes. But uh, to the upcoming artists, mm -hmm. what I can tell you, don't give up. Keep on practicing, do consistent practice day and night, but when consulting, consult an artist who is willing to help you. Mm -hmm. In this, this Kenya, some artists don't, doesn't have that heart of helping. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I can tell you. They will mislead you, that's true. They won't tell you the truth, the actual pencil they're using, mm. the actual paper they're using, how they shade. How they tend to how they blend their work mm. so practice in as much as you google tutorials to help you out practice the best thing is to practice mm. that's the key thank you this was the artist edition that is episode 5 for fab's show fab's weekly show we always go live on in facebook every thursday starting from 9 30 pm and up to 22 up to 10 pm uh, today we're hosting mike masterpiece he has pre presented some of his artworks which i'm holding right here on the table um, he's surely doing some great work if you need such a portrait a bigger size than this one or similar size you can connect with him his telephone number i'll tag there I'll post it there and you, you can also check it. Um, next time when you are coming to the show, 
kindly carry some other larger size than this one and more amazing portraits okay now thank you very much for watching and um, i appreciate stay tuned for the next episode episode that will be aired on facebook the uh, next thursday and youtube live too thank you very much remember to subscribe to my comedy uh, my comedy youtube channel fabinyale as you are watching and uh, bobito showtime also his mentors youtube account subscribe to that channel too thank you very much and uh,